rockin', it's another way. Back in the day when Elvis played, he stole his rock and roll from the black and immediate. Okay, this video is about how about twice a year, or actually it may be more than that, maybe about three times a year, where they, uh, they hype you up for this big Powerball drawing, but it's complete bullcrap. It's rigged, and they do it for psychological operations purposes. And it's complete hoax. But they only do it like, it seems to be about every four or five months or something. You know, like this one that, this recent one that happened in, I guess around the end of January, where they claimed that they gave out $1.5 billion, which is bull crap. They didn't give out shit. Well, actually they did, but the Illuminati stole it all. So that's where the money went to. It went to them. Supposedly there's 6,000 people that run the world, but only a hundred of them really know what's going on. So yeah, probably went to those hundred people. They split all your money up. J just think, these poor people, you know, buying $30, $40, $200, you know, worth of tickets. And the Illuminati steals it all. Um, I, I don't ever, ever, ever play like Once in a Blue Moon, and I definitely don't play Powerball. I play the state one, Once in a Blue Moon, but I pretty much don't play unless uh, the aliens give me numbers or unless I'm just feeling lucky because it's just stupid. And they did give me some numbers that hit back when I was 24. And that goes back to all the way till age, uh, to age five, the psychic information that the aliens gave me, but that's another video. Uh, yeah, I don't care if anybody believes me or not, but they can kiss my ass. Uh, but yeah, it's a true story. And, um, and a lot of times that's why people win the lottery is because they never figure, figure it out, but, you know, aliens are giving them that information, you know. Like, hey, play these numbers, and they'll be like, oh, I've been playing these numbers for years. And all of a sudden, an entity tells them, okay, now's the time to play. And they do. But, yeah. But they never figure it out that that's where the information is coming from. Higher powers. But, yeah, like I say, um, this goes back to age five. And then when I was 24... Um, an incident happened, um, but like I said, that's another video. And but like I said, I didn't figure it out till I was about. Uh, let's see, how old was I? Thirty-one. Or no way, I was thirty-two. Thirty-two, and that's when I told my mom, I was like, "Yeah, well, age five, freaking." You know, I leaned up out of bed with my eyes open and blah, 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 blah. Well, that's another video. Okay, so, um, anyway, uh, I can't remember how I figured, figured it out that this was complete bullshit hoax. Well, I knew everything was a psychological operation. It started with Ferguson, Missouri, and then it was like, then they had like German wings and all this other bullshit, and I just knew that it was all fake and hoax and psychological operation. It doesn't mean that some people may not get killed occasionally or whatever, or hurt, but it's mainly all bullshit and staged. These psychological operations uh, are mainly a bunch of staged events and hoaxes. And, um, and like I say, not all the, you know, lotteries are rigged. They're not all rigged every day of the week or whatever, you just got to use your psychic abilities and, you know, I know when they're rigged and when they're not. So you definitely don't want to play when they're, when they're hyping it up. Oh, it's to 300 million now. Whenever they're spreading it all over the news, then that's when you don't want to play. 
Yeah, so, um, anyway, oh, so, well, what the deal is, I found a video about those Tennessee people that supposedly won, and I just, because once you enlighten, you see everything, like, you see through all the bullshit of the Matrix, and it just screams at you, like, bullshit, 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 yeah, so, okay, and also, um, the night before the drawing, that these supposedly people who won it. Um, about 10 o'clock in the morning, I was at work and I was reading at the bottom, you know, of Yahoo as you scroll down. And it talked about the lottery, you know, tonight's lottery, which was, I think, January 22nd or something like that. And it was, I don't know whoever went, you know, when they write those stories for the next day or whatever. I don't, maybe they, I don't know, maybe they wrote it, you know, at least 24 hours in advance, but I didn't read it till about 10 a.m. in the morning. And it was already telling you that it was going to hit tonight, you know, which was January 22nd. It was already telling you that. So, first of all, that's a red flag right there. I mean, it's complete bullshit. And I cut and pasted it, and then um, I sent it to my email. So here it is. Okay, shark tanks, God, and they're big freaking sheeps, Barbara Corcoran and Kevin O'Leary, the reptilians gave me this psycho virtual reality experience with Kevin O'Leary, um, <laughs> yeah, and he was being all demonic and shit in the vehicle he was driving, and I was like in the passenger seat, it was funny. But, um, uh, okay, here it is, it says, okay, here it is, okay, it says Shark Tank, Sharks, Barbara Corcoran, and Kevin O'Leary have very specific advice for the person, or persons, who will walk away with the $1.5 billion from tonight's Powerball jackpot drawing. It doesn't say who will possibly walk away if it happens to hit tonight it's telling you that it is going to that somebody is going to win they already know that somebody's going to win tonight which is whatever that date was january 22nd so i knew that was like a red flag see shark tanks sharks barbara corcoran and kevin o'leary have very specific advice for the persons or persons who will walk walk away with 1.5 billion from tonight's Powerball jackpot drawing. Uh. Well, anyway, to me, that's already telling me that it's going to hit. Well, how did they know it was going to hit before it even happened? Because it's all bullshit and it's rigged and it's a hoax. So... And there's no way it could have even gotten that high of an amount anyway. Somebody definitely would have, you know, won it by then anyway, but they they hoaxed it and rigged it. And there's big red flags that tell you that. You know, because it's all over the news and they hype you up. It gets to at least 300 million and then 500 million. You know, it's all a big hoax. And, um... Um, and two, uh, a couple of days later, then on 2020 or Dateline, you know, with the, it's, most of those stories are psychological operations too, and they're completely made up, I believe. A lot of them are. Maybe some of them aren't, but a lot of them are. Or maybe they're just, I don't know, presenting the information like that on purpose. But I don't know. To me, most of those stories on Dateline in 2020, maybe even 48 hours, most of them seem like fake ass stories. But like I say, not all of them probably are. But um yeah, so whenever they hype you up and they hoax the lottery, then a couple days later they'll have the story on twenty twenty or dateline. So that's a red flag too. And people are waking up, man. 
the aliens are waking up a lot of people. Okay, and here is... And watch what these people say. It doesn't even make sense, man. Yeah, it doesn't even make sense whatsoever. Lean, and they're part of the story as well, which we'll explain. But good morning to good morning, all of guys. you. Thank you. How do you feel? Can we see that ticket? <laughs> you keeping it nice While and close to your pocket, heart? Huh? <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Okay, this guy is in disguise. I believe he's in disguise. This guy's a big freaking fruitcake and doesn't know what the hell is going on. This woman is in disguise. She has a wig on. And like I say, I think he... I never watched Undercover Boss, but I just kind of heard of it. I think my mom mentioned it or whatever, but... I mean, they can make people look like that. Like, he may have a lot of hair, but they can make you look bald and shit. He's in disguise. She's in disguise. She has a wig on. He's just a big fruitcake. He, he's not in disguise. She's in disguise. She has a wig on. This chick, I don't believe is in disguise, but that may be a wig, but they're all good actors except for her. Look at her body language, man. She just knows. She's like, oh my god, are these fuckers actually buying this bullshit? She keeps looking out in the freaking audience like she can't believe... She's like, oh my god, I can't believe we're pulling this off. Her whole body language. Now, now look at her body language. Body language speaks louder than words. Outset, guys. You know, you haven't gone to the lottery officials yet in no. Tennessee. So there's no way for us to officially verify that you are the winners. We have... And what kind of freaking bullshit is that? To say that? That doesn't even make sense. Oh, uh, you know, we haven't verified it yet. I mean, what kind of freaking bullshit is that? We've done a lot of work to verify your employment, where you live. You live right next to the grocery store. We've done a lot. Yeah, they, they live. He just happened to go right across the street and pick um, a random, r random quick pick numbers. That's a red flag right there. Now, if, you, if they said that, okay, this dude had been playing these numbers for 25 years, and then he goes across the street and plays those exact same numbers and it hits. That's a different story. But he lives like right across the street and they're claiming it's just a quick pick. That's a big red flag. That's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's more likely that he would be like 30 miles away and just happen to drop into some gas station 30 miles away from home or... 300 miles away from home and went into a gas station and bought a quick pick ticket. See, they don't even know how to freaking lie, man. These dumbass Illuminati people or the fucking Matrix, they don't even know how to fucking lie. Whoever wrote the, the aliens, they don't even know how to lie. When they wrote all this bullshit programming of the Matrix. We've talked to your lawyer, but that's why we're just bringing a little bit of saying you guys are claiming to be the winners. It's not official yet. So I just wanted to get that out. Why, though, did you decide not to go to the lottery officials yet and come to us first? Well, see, Ashley, if you look at her right there, she just has bullshit written all over her face. She actually does right there. Like this is complete bullshit. She didn't win one freaking penny. They are poor scumbags, and that's why they have to go back to work. See, that's a red flag, too. They're acting like, oh, um, you know, I just won 50 fucking billion dollars, and, you know, I'm just going to fucking go back and work at McDonald's and make $8 an hour. Like, that freaking makes sense, man. People need to wake the fuck up already. Well, actually, it was his idea. Your lawyer's <laughs> idea. You didn't want to, you were worried about going public right, right away. Right, right, And what was your thought, Joe? Well, I think the American public wants to hear from them. And even though they want to be private after this is over, 
they want to, you know, let the public know that they're the winners. Okay. And I, I mean, I don't know how how it works exactly. Uh, I mean, surely these people aren't so mind controlled that they don't even know what the hell they're doing. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, surely they know what they're doing, and they maybe get paid fifty thousand dollars a piece. They're probably CIA workers, or or I, I mean, the CIA or whatever probably pays them, gets these people off the street to pay them fifty thousand dollars, and then they put them under mind control to never talk about it. Like shit, I don't know. And so and we'll get back to the story because it's kind of interesting how you found us. We didn't find you; you found us. But first, let's just talk about Wednesday night. Wednesday Powerball night. Fever. Okay. <laughs> it's almost 7 o'clock. The deadline is in two hours. You decide to go to the grocery store. What happened? Actually, I was on my way home from work. Okay. And she had called me, and she said, are you I mean, you can tell he's just freaking acting, man. He is just acting. Stop and get a couple lottery tickets, I said. Yeah, and she has bullshit written all over her face. I really didn't feel like stopping that night. I was like, yeah, I'll stop and get, get them. So when I stop and I buy my lottery tickets, I always buy four at a time because there's four members of my family. And I always do a quick pick. But, like, people are waking up, man. Like, they, a lot of people, they don't become completely enlightened, you know, but uh, they still become pretty enlightened where they they start seeing some shit that doesn't make sense. They may never become like really, really enlightened like about the Matrix and about aliens and stuff, but they're becoming enlightened to shit like this, like lottery hoax and stuff. Single ticket. Okay. Uh, so I went and got my lottery tickets at the grocery store at Nafee's and uh, came home and I wasn't feeling good and I handed the tickets to her. I said, I'm going to go lay down. And <laughs> take us from there, Lisa. You're watching the, the Powerball and the numbers are coming out. You're holding your ticket. God, people are so freaking stupid. Walk us through that. No, actually, I wrote them down because I had other tickets, his well, other three that like the again. <laughs> I said, yeah, they look like they're the numbers. All night? When did you get the news? Uh, yeah, yeah, we were up all night. News networks there. But see, it would be more believable if they didn't say, oh, I'm going to go back to work. And if they uh, claimed that they had been playing these numbers. Because if you've been playing numbers, you know, for 20 years, the same numbers, then it doesn't matter where you go. I mean, it doesn't matter where you go to buy the ticket. If you know what I mean. It doesn't matter. So if you played 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, they would never hit like that anyway, but 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and, you know, those numbers happen to hit, I mean, it wouldn't matter where you, you, you know, picked up that ticket from, across the street or... 300 miles from here. But it's suspicious because he's saying he went to the gas station like just 20 feet from him across the street and that he picked a quick pick. So that makes no sense and that's a scam. Hanging out in Montford. They already knew that it was. Yeah, so basically all that money, it just goes to. The Illuminati stole it, 100 people. Probably the 100 people out of 6,000, probably 100 people stole it all. $1.5 billion. Don't you love knowing that they're stealing from the people? In Montford somewhere. And the store is very close to your house, right? Yes. yes. And the uh, out what we're going to So my eyes can't uh, go off your right. I don't want to get. What have the last 48 hours? The local news. And so did you. And I said, like, yeah. Sleep on the couch. John, what three to look at so I was like okay I'm gonna write them down so I wrote the numbers down and I got to look in and I saw it and I was like you see how this chick keeps looking out to the corner of her eye and down so I wrote the numbers down and I got to look in and I saw it and I was like 
See, she's looking really, really guilty, this one right here. The others are pretty good actors, but she's looking very, very, very guilty. Right there. Looked again. They're the same. Looked again. And the third time I went running down the hallway, John, John, you gotta check these notes. Got to look in and I saw it and I was like... See how she keeps looking over to the audience? Looked again. They're the same. Looked again. And the third time... <laughs> John, you gotta check these numbers. <laughs> See, she just, uh, she looks very uncomfortable that she's sitting there acting when she knows she's full of shit. Like she's sitting there acting like she won 1.5 billion, but she knows it's all a scam. She's looking really guilty. And I startled him because he was asleep on the couch. John, what did you think when you first woke up? Did you believe it? Uh, she said... Like, it's funny. The other people don't even ever look, look out in the audience. Check these numbers. And uh, so... <laughs> and so did you... Find sure enough there's... We don't leave our house. <laughs> <laughs> well, we started seeing the uh, news, the local news networks there hanging out in Montford. They already knew. And like, I'm so sure you're going to win $1.5 and show your ass all over TV that it was in Montford somewhere. And the store's is but that but store. <laughs> where I bought the tickets. <laughs> I mean, knew that I wanted to get a lawyer. So my eyes can't. It <laughs> could be worth north of $500 million in your front pocket. You're walking around New York City. <laughs> I'm nervous for you. <laughs> you can well, outscore the side <laughs> Now I'll be nervous because everybody knows. Yeah, when, you walk out of here, you lose your anonymity. when will you go to the lottery officials? We're well, we leaving from here. Yeah, but Lisa, have you let yourself dream about what this means for you and your life? Uh, a couple of things. Sally Mae's paid off. Yeah, it's good luck. <laughs> bye bye for you, Tiffany. <laughs> See right there. She looks very, very uh, suspicious right here. Watch this chick right here. But other than that, no, we haven't had time to really, you know. <laughs> see how guilty she looks? Working for a little while. Look out, yeah, see, look at that look on her eyes. For you, Tiffany. <laughs> this means for you and your life? Uh, a couple of things. Sally Mae's paid off. Yeah, it's good luck. <laughs> Bye-bye for you, Tiffany. <laughs> but other than that. Yeah, see, she's in a wig. She's in a wig. She might be in a wig, too. He's not, but he is, too. He's in disguise. No, we haven't had time. See, watch, watch her right here. Watch her, the guilty look on her face. To really... See? She looks like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm doing this. This is like such a sin. You know. No. I do hope to plan on working for a little while. Yeah, so. we saw you said you might be back, back to work on... I See, that is such fuck fucking bullshit. God, that is just so stupid. Nobody ever says that when they win the lottery. I mean, they totally quit their job and everything. I'll be there Monday. You must love your job. I do. Actually, I do. <laughs> See, that's suspicious right there. What did she say? She was like, did y'all win? Did y'all win? Lisa, I was like... See, that, that's a wig right there. That's a wig. Just please watch the Today Show, please. <laughs> you were brought into touch with Joe, your lawyer, Bobby, who then said, you know, it would make sense to call a national... It's a story, too. <laughs> well, I googled how do you call NBC. See, see how she keeps doing her lips like that? Like she's nervous? Yeah, see, that's a definite wig, too, right there. And tell us now, Eileen, how you got in touch with us, because it's a story, too. <laughs> see, look, she looks at the audience. <laughs> well, I googled how do you call and see how she like looking over at the corner and she's doing her mouth. That's showing that she's, uh, you know, deceptive. You called your daughter, Eileen, who happens to be a reporter in Memphis. I googled how do you call NBC. See? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us now, Eileen, how you got in touch with us because it's a story to <laughs> well, well, I googled. See? But the other people are acting pretty good. How do you call, call NBC? <laughs> <laughs> Talk through it. Yeah. Just our immediate family. Just our. Uh, I need you to bring them over to my because she lives down the road from us. I said, I need you to bring them to the house. Yes. Uh, I'm 
We've been there uh, forever. Yeah. But have you had friends saying, hey, what's going on? Okay, well, there you go. I hope you guys don't play the lottery, or at least know when to play, but don't play around the psychological operation times. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure um, every single lottery is rigged from time to time, no doubt. Probably many, many, many times per year. But you just, not every single, you know, one every day or every week, every drawing is rigged. So you just got to know when to play. So, yeah, like I say, you don't have to, like, not ever play, but just got to have the aliens wake you up so you can see all this crap. But, yeah, they put a lot of flaws in the Matrix when they wrote the computer program of the Matrix. That the aliens put a lot of flaws because this shit don't even make sense. And they don't, they don't even know how to lie, you know what I'm saying?